Hi, everybody. It's Joe Greshkin from the National Association of Local Businesses. I'm here with attorney Nancy Ferraro of Ferraro Law, and uh, she is an estate attorney, and she's going to have some tips on how to thrive during this challenging time. So, Nancy, welcome to our call. Thank you, Joe. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's truly my pleasure and total transparency. Uh, Nancy is my attorney. She did our will for us when we moved down from Connecticut to Florida, and she did a great job for us. And uh, she is helping a lot of individuals and businesses with their estate planning and uh, legal services. So Nancy, tell us a, lot, a little bit about your business. Uh, thanks, Joe. You wrapped it up really well. I am a local estate planning attorney, and I help my clients protect the people and the things they love in the way in which they in which they want them protected. And I do that through explaining the law, through knowledgeable, thoughtful estate planning. It is my theory, it is my belief that your legacy is much more than your things. And as you know, Joe, we've talked about this many times, estate planning is not just about what happens to your stuff when you die, especially now when everyone is so frightened and we know nothing else but to hoard toilet paper food, thinking that that is going to be protection of our legacy and our homes and our families, when in fact what will protect you are good documents in case you become disabled or you pass or you cannot sign your checks or you have a health crisis like we're going through right now. I have uh, a lot of sad stories. I'm hearing a lot of things about friends who may be living with someone, they're not married, and their loved one is hospitalized and then they can't get any information about their health. So the importance of planning, of doing it now, I cannot overemphasize and it pains me to see people that I love going through these kinds of situations. You know, when, when, we, went, when we went through the process, it was interesting because you did bring up all of the important points, things that my wife and I never thought about. And it was so, reassuring to you know have somebody who understood the process and and that's one of the real strong benefits of having a a, a well educated and, and informed attorney so it's uh, from from personal experience i know how important it is so nancy as a business owner as you know as an attorney doctor lawyer landscaper whatever you know we're all business owners and we're going through some challenging times right now Obviously, you're doing extremely well and you're thriving. What are you doing to continue to thrive during these challenging times? You're right, Joe. It is a challenging time. I have found that working remotely is very helpful and beneficial to my clients. For me especially, we just had a change in the law that allows me to witness and notarize my clients' estate planning documents remotely. Wow. So, yeah, so I did this yesterday. In fact, I just got some mail from a client. She actually executed her estate planning documents online. They came in the mail today, and now as, as soon as I can form them and have my staff make copies and do the appropriate things to them, they'll go to her. But once she signed them, because we, we saw them, we witnessed them, uh, because the moment she signed them, those documents are valid. So she could go on with a clear head and a clear mind, knowing that her estate was taken care of if something should happen to her. So essentially, to make it, you know, that's a technical stuff that was changed for your industry, but what you're really saying is technology is evolving to help your industry. And, and we actually, we have to change with it. So all of my meetings are now being held remotely. And I think changing our expectations of the market right now is also very important. We have to understand that when we come out of the other side of this, we're still going to be with the same people we were before, right? So if you're concerned about people, you're concerned about them now as well as you are after. And I know that people are frightened. And I know that people are afraid to spend money. I know that people don't want to commit to anything that they don't think that they're going to be able to follow through with. And I know all of our businesses are feeling that. But Joe, as we've talked about so many times, and you've been so amazing and informative, and you've educated me on this, you know, what you sow is what you reap. 
So now that we are speaking to the people who, who may need our services and may not be able to use them now, that's fine. What we want to do is give value. We want to provide a service. We want to give knowledge. And my, my philosophy is that knowledge cancels out fear. So the fact that I can give content, I can give people the empowerment of knowing what the law is now, what, what their options are, and what they can do later, it can allay some of those fears. The most important thing right now. That's great. I've always believed that fear is false expectations appearing real. And a lot of times we put some false expectations on ourselves that we just think are so real right now but when you, you know, all of a sudden the vapor clears and what was I, what was I afraid of? And a lot of people are, are you know, uh, if I had a tip for any business owner, it's turn off the news because it's nothing but bad news. And they're, they're just, you know, creating a hysteria that really doesn't need to be there. Okay, wash your hands, socially distance, stay in, lock down and, and use technology to communicate all of that is is what's going to help people through this to come out of it stronger would you agree yeah and you know joe i think there's a statistic that says that 92 percent of what we worry about never comes to fruition yeah. so it's just a lot of wasted energy exactly well you know nancy I, I've, I've been the benefactor of your service i know a lot of other people who have as well you come highly recommended and most importantly you do it with caring and, and style and finesse and, and intelligence. So it's wonderful to have you as a resource. And most importantly, it's wonderful to have you as a friend too. So I, I really appreciate your time today. Anything you want to share before we wrap up? Yes, everyone stay safe, stay calm. I wish you light and love and know that I'm here for you on the other side. Great, Nancy, thank you so much. You're, you're a wonderful person. And anybody who works with you feels the same way. So before we wrap up, I just want to mention to everybody, the National Association of Local Businesses is here to help any business. We, we offer pandemic promotions like this to help small businesses get more uh, the word out to their audience. <clears throat> we post it on our social media. They post it on theirs. And, and then hundreds and hundreds of people get benefited by these kind of conversations. So if you want more information, go right to that website and uh, you can get a free membership in the association. So Nancy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your, your wisdom and your, your guidance. And uh, I hope you have a great day and you stay safe. So thank you. Thank you for listening. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Bye-bye.